The G100 cup spray gun utilizes pressurized air to accurately coat fibers and composite shells with the polyester resin. The G100 cup spray gun sp sprays a protective coating against the surface of the mold. A gel coat protects the surface of the composite and gives it a smooth finish. The gel coat process requires that you wear a proper respirator fitted with organic cartridges to filter out the harmful fumes produced from the chemicals. The proper way to install the cartridge on the mask is by inserting the organic cartridges into the designated holes and twisting clockwise until they lock. Then place the respirator over your head with the elastic band resting on the back of your neck. Tighten the respirator by pulling on the elastic bands until it's secure against your head. During the process, make sure that you are wearing eye protection at all times, as well as nitrile gloves and clothes that you don't mind if they get dirty. First, locate the paper cup for the polyester resin and zero the cup on the scale. Next, locate the polyester resin and pour the appropriate amount into the cup. The amount is proportional to the surface area being sprayed. Note the amount of resin in the cup and add 1.8% by weight of MEKP to the cup. MEKP stands for methyl ethyl ketone peroxide which acts as a liquid hardener for the resin. It also acts as a preservative. Make sure to have a calculator on hand to find the proper amount of MEKP to add. Slowly add the MEKP to the resin in the cup by using a pipette. Then stir thoroughly with a stirring stick as you walk back to the paint booth. Before setting up the gun, put on the proper size of nitrile latex gloves. Then, locate the can of wax for waxing the nozzle of the gun. Thoroughly wax the nozzle of the gun by using a rag and dipping the rag into the wax and applying for an X amount of seconds. The reason for waxing the nozzle is because it will prevent seizing of the threads. After the nozzle is waxed, locate the lid of the cup and securely press the lid on the top of the cup. Then screw in the nozzle to the top of the lid. With the cup upright, locate the nozzle to the bushing of the gun, then fasten with the pull ring to the bottom of the cup edge. Make sure the cup is upright at all times or the gel will drip at the end of the nozzle. Now it is time to put on the respirator due to the toxic fumes of the gel coat. Walk over to the gel booth area and set up the proper pressure. To do this, twist the valve gauge to turn on the pressure. Uncoil the tubing for the pressure system and test the pressure making sure it is roughly 60 psi. Then fasten the tip into the bottom of the gun, once again making sure that the gun is upright. Now it is time to spray. To begin gel coating, angle the gun up towards the ceiling and press down on the trigger so that the gel coat begins to spray out of the gun. The reason for this is if you tilt the gun down prior to spraying, excess gel will drip out from the end of the nozzle. Now tilt the gun toward the part and begin fluid motion with a back and forth motion. Make sure you are roughly one foot away from the part at all times. 
Make sure that you encompass the entire part so that there is a uniform layer of resin. After you are pleased with the amount of coats of gel, tilt the gun back up towards the ceiling and release the trigger. Once finished with spraying, take your part and place it on the drying rack. Next, disconnect the pressurized air hose from the gel coat gun and turn the pressure valve gauge off. Then recoil the air hose and place it back on the wall. Once you are done spraying and recoiling up the hose, bring the gun over to the assembly area. Prepare three different acetone baths. Two baths are prior used acetone and the third is slightly used acetone. Begin by dipping each component of the gun into the first bath of acetone, which is the already used acetone, and clean thoroughly with an acetone brush. Then move the entire assembly into the second bath and repeat the process. Finally, move the assembly into the third bath and clean again. Let the gun dry by setting the components on clean rags. Once the gun has been thoroughly cleaned, Take the first acetone bath and pour it into the waste container located in the flammables cabinet. It is a good idea to have another individual with you to hold the funnel to avoid any spills. Take the second and third acetone baths and pour them back into the original acetone container. Make sure to have a funnel so that the excessive acetone is not dripping. When you are pouring the acetone back into the container, be sure to pour slowly and at appropriate angle such that the acetone does not escape from the open top. Make note, if one of the baths has an excessive amount of gel coat resin, to dispose of the bath in the flammables cabinet as well. After pouring all the acetone into the appropriate container, then Place the plastic lids on top of all three acetone baths. After you are done cleaning up, walk over to the composite sink and fill up the excess resin halfway with water, making sure that the cup is labeled, and then place into the composite sink.